morning everybody welcome here back to my channel welcome to another what i eat in a day i love sharing what i eat in a day and filming these videos for you guys i love just sharing a positive outlook on food i guess um i don't follow any like diets or restrictions but you will see that i do kind of close off my eating window a little bit earlier probably like six or seven um just because we kind of were in the habit of eating dinner so late. Um, and it was just like not good. I don't do it for any other specific reason other than like just fe wanting to feel good before I go to bed. So that's kind of the only thing I do. But other than that, I eat what I want to eat. And yeah, I just really enjoy sharing that on the internet here. And why are you looking at me, Sebastian? <laughs> I do what I want to do. I do what I want to do. Look at that. Oh, I'm also rudely interrupted. Yeah, I like to eat the food that I want to and it feels good and I just really listen to my body. So you saw this morning, I drink a lot of liquids in the morning. Um, I always start my day with my water and then um, I did my chlorophyll in my water, which I've talked about before in uh, another vlog, but it's just great for energy levels and your red blood cells. Um, it doesn't taste like anything and I just like chug it down first thing in the morning. And then I had my lemon water, which was great. and I sipped on that while I was working out. And then after my workout, made my coffee and I take my coffee into the shower with me while I'm getting ready. It's just nice to like sip on that during the morning. And then now I'm about to make some breakfast. So I woke up at like 5.45, it's 8.15. So this is the first thing I'm eating today and I'm actually pretty pretty hungry so i don't get too hungry in the morning just because i am like sipping on all those liquids it kind of just like keeps me going and i don't really notice it um but yeah now i'm gonna make some breakfast which i'm really excited about because i'm trying something a little bit new that i picked up from costco so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you like what i eat in a days and just daily vlogs and don't forget to subscribe if you're new i would love to have you here for the next video and let's go make some breakfast Okay, here is breakfast. It's super easy today. I just have my water. I fill this up at night before I go to bed and then it's right by my nightstand like I talked about and I drink it in the morning and I'm still working on the first one. So I fill it up a couple times a day and this is actually my new one. So cute. I got it at, well, I think it's from Target, but I got it on Amazon so I can link it below if you guys would like it. But they have lots of cute different styles and I got the marble one, which is really cute and it's by Simple Modern. And then this is my breakfast. I kind of went for like sweet and salty. So we picked up these brekkie overnight oats from Costco yesterday. They just looked really good. Um, they're like a cinnamon vanilla flavor. It's not gonna focus, but cinnamon vanilla. And they're like vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, which again, I don't, that doesn't really matter to me. And I didn't know that they were dairy-free, so I'm a little nervous that they'll have like almond milk, cause I don't really like, oh yep. <laughs> They have almond milk. Did it taste okay? They were good. They were good? Okay. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't typically like almond milk, so I don't know if I'll like these. But obviously overnight oats are something that you can make on your own. But I just saw these and thought that they'd be easy and convenient. So I'm going to try those. And then I just have a piece of my Dave's Killer Bread, the 21 whole grains and seeds. Um, just a piece of toast with some butter on it because I like to have some sweet and salty. And just for reference, that is the bread. So, really yummy and just a quick, easy breakfast. So I'm gonna eat this now and then I gotta get to work. So, this is where we're gonna start our day off. I'm really excited. I'll tell you how I like these overnight oats when I give them a try. Okay, verdict is in on those overnight oats. They were good, they were way better than I thought that they were gonna be. They had a little bit too much cinnamon and I'm not like the biggest fan of cinnamon, um, but I feel like if you put like apples or strawberries or bananas in it, it'd be really yummy. Um, would I buy them again? Probably not. Like, they're so easy to make at home. So I think me and Sebastian would just do that moving forward. But if you're like a busy student or running out the door to work, like they're super easy and convenient that way. And they were good. So I'm pleased about that. Um, but I turned on the camera to let you guys know how I like them and also to take my vitamins. So I've kind of been on and off with my vitamins for <laughs> months. Like some months I'm really good at it. The last month I was really bad at it. So this month I'm back on. And I just wanted to show 
what I like to take. So, these are the three things that I take. Sometimes I take them all, sometimes I just take one a day. Kind of depends, but I love taking a vitamin C. I'm a big fan of vitamin C, whether that's like orally or topically, I love it. So I have a big thing of that. This is just a probiotic that I got from Trader Joe's, so I take that every day. And then depending on the time of the year, I will also take a vitamin D. I take a lot of this during the winter, especially here in Utah, because we have like really long sad winters um, but I just wanted to show that because sometimes I do take that so I take all three of those um, today I think I'm just gonna do the vitamin C and the probiotic it is a little bit it's 11 25 so it's been a few hours since I've had breakfast and I'm nearly finished with my water so I came down here to fill it up and something I'm trying to be like better at um, especially this week even though it's only Monday um, is like taking breaks to really have snacks it's not that I like don't eat throughout the day but I, I've noticed like a pattern especially working from home and just like being busy and instead of like always taking snack breaks i never take snack breaks and it's not that i'm not hungry because like i am but i just want to finish whatever project i'm working on and then by the time i finish it's like four o'clock and we haven't had a snack or lunch <laughs> which isn't great so i'm trying to be a lot better and just like look at the clock and when i know like i have a tiny bit of a break then come downstairs and make us snacks and like it's not that i'm not eating um I usually just like come down here, grab a string cheese and stuff, but it's like not like a well-balanced snack. So I'm trying to do that so that, I don't know, I'm just like not eating at weird times. Like I've just noticed that for such a long time, me and Sebastian always eat at weird times. So I came down here and I'm about to make my beloved snack platters. If you guys have watched my, what I eat in a days before, then you know I love a snack platter. So I'm excited for this one. I'm gonna make one for me and Sebastian and then yeah, we'll have a little bit of a snack. I'm gonna fill up my water and um, then in a couple hours I'll have lunch. So that's what we're gonna do. I cannot wait to show you the snack platter. So you saw me cutting up the cucumbers for me and Sebastian. We love cucumbers. Well, I guess I do. <laughs> he likes them, but I love them. So I have a few of those. And then to dip in them, I really love this spinach and artichoke and Parmesan <laughs> dip. It's really yummy. And it's just like a nice, I don't know, treat. It's like made with Greek yogurt. So I feel really good about it. And it's very delicious. And then we have some wheat thins here and then this is the star of the show again we went to costco so we found these at costco they're just like little salami and cheese packets and so i open these up and put them on the plate and then yeah we have the crackers and this so that's gonna be our snack we have so many of those like canned mandarin oranges in our <laughs> garage from when i panicked bought everything thinking the world was gonna end we have so much of that so if you wanted like a sweet snack most of the time i like salty stuff so this is a very standard snack for me but if you wanted to change it up for like something sweet i love to take a little bit of cottage cheese so i bought some cottage cheese this week and it sounds crazy but it's so delicious so i scoop a little bit of the cottage cheese and then add the mansion oranges and it's so good so that's another snack option we'll probably have that later after lunch or something before dinner it's just a nice protein based snack and it's easy it's quick and it uses up those stupid cans so anyway i'm going to finish plating this up now but yeah i just wanted to show you kind of what we have in store for the snacks today our snack is set it is like 1 30 i think and i just finished up i filmed another igtv video i've been scared to do them but i've actually been loving them so follow me on instagram i will have it linked in the description if you aren't already um because it's been a lot of fun but now i'm gonna be out of breath because <laughs> that's just the way it goes when i walk up and down the stairs um but it is yeah one is it two o'clock instead of one <gasps> it's 202 <laughs> And we've been <laughs> super busy. <laughs> Why are you trying to hide? You're so weird. Um, and I'm having a cookie for lunch. No, no I'm just no. kidding. No, I'm super annoyed. There's Wait, only you had like three yesterday. I literally had one. No, you didn't. Yeah, I had one. There was only two left, so I had one in the tub. Oh, and, <gasps> and a chunk. Hey. One in a chunk. No. Hey, look how crumbly they are. Look. They're amazing. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Um, I made cookies the other night, and I put. Oh yeah. 
I put like salt on top. Mm. They're my best cookies. You don't like the salt? I love well, the salt. I do. Good. That's a bummer. <laughs> we ate Mara, all the. Are you filming like, your pants? <laughs> no. No. I will. Go away. So I yeah made cookies and we ate all of them, but we've decided that. We, I think I always talk about this, but we're always budgeting. Always, always, always. We're always trying to be better. July was really not a good month for us budget-wise. And so we've been doing a lot of like getting treats, which is really fun in the summer. And it's fun to get ice cream and stuff like that. Um, and quarantine has completely changed me. And now I'm such... <laughs> you did that on purpose. I'm such like a sweet tooth monster now and so yeah we just we're like spending $15 on these like bakeries and it's like I don't understand why so we just we just started we decided to start making dessert at home so I made the cookies on was that Sunday night Saturday night I made the cookie Saturday and then I got brownies to make and like funfetti cupcakes. So we're not like being healthy, um, but we're having fun making them at home. I think it's healthier. Yeah. Is it? So yeah, to have the last bite, that's fine. Now we're gonna make some lunch. That's why I came on here to start the vlog again. Sebastian wants me to tell you about when I peed my pants. So on Saturday night, it was like pretty late. We had snacks and the cookies. We were watching a movie. And I go into the bathroom, this like spare bathroom right there. <laughs> and it was like kind of late. So I was just like, had my knees on my, um, or my, what are these? My elbows on my knees. <laughs> and I looked down at the, we have like a little rug and I looked down and there was this big red spider. It was so scary. And it was like crawling next to my toe. And so I was in the middle of peeing and I just got up and ran out to the bathroom. <laughs> I was like screaming and I got pee on our ground. You picked it up. I stepped on it. I literally stepped <laughs> it on it. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't like a puddle of pee. It was just a little It drips. was a puddle. <laughs> you, you wouldn't know. It was like drip, 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 drip. <laughs> you guys, I couldn't stop peeing like as I was running, but I was so afraid of and that spider. And you got on the freaking um carpet. Well, because I had to run up and change. Mm. <laughs> it's so bad. I have never seen a spider like that. It was so red. It was big. It was so big and red, and I was so mad. And yeah, so there's the story. But when I peed my pants, that's unconditional love. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what do you want to have for lunch? We made tostadas last night, so we have extra tostadas we could have. For lunch, we pretty much just do leftovers. So we have pizza leftover. We could do like pizza and salad or tostadas. Or gummy worms. Or gummy bears. See what I mean? We're just snacking on sweets now. Okay, here is lunch. This is Sebastian's butt. <laughs> the second mine comes out. Oh, it's done. <laughs> the second mine comes out of the microwave. I'm just gonna eat it and I didn't wanna have to worry about filming it because I'm so hungry. Um, so yeah, we just have like leftover pizza. We got this at the store because we're having a movie night on Saturday. So it's just leftover pizza. And then I've been doing this for a lot of our meals. I'll just take like a spring mix like this and throw in random things like tomatoes, cucumbers, almonds. And then we just top it with whatever dressing. We have like a homemade ranch that I always make, balsamic vinaigrette, like whatever we just kind of top it with. And I think it's just nice to throw a side salad in there. It's also a nice way to like use up your random veggies towards the end of the week or whatever. Um, I don't know, I just find it easy and fast. So that's what we're gonna have for lunch. I'm also drinking a Key Lime LaCroix. I recently got like a new pack from Costco and I normally only drink the passion fruit. That's my favorite, but I decided to get the passion fruit, the Key Lime and the tangerine and the tangerine was so good. I drank through it so fast. It was one of my favorites. I like the Key Lime, it's not my favorite, but it's pretty good. Um, and then passion fruit is always my favorite, so I'm kind of saving that to the end. <laughs> but that's gonna be my lunch, and then we will check back in probably around dinner. I don't think I'll eat anything else uh, before then, but who knows, I might have a cup of tea. So if I do make tea later on today, I will share that with you guys and pick up the camera. It's a couple hours later, as you can tell. <laughs> my makeup is like slowly fading away as the day goes on. But um, yeah, it's a couple hours. It's 4.30 now. I had a lounge on the couch for a little bit and finished up some work. Just cleaned up the kitchen, finished up some laundry, and now I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. Just right before we have dinner, 
Um, I'll probably make dinner in a couple hours, so like 6, 6.30. Um, I'm making a really yummy like sausage pasta, which I think will be really good. We have the basketball game on tonight, so it'll just be a chill night, and I think it'll be yummy to have like a pasta dish for dinner. But I'm going to get my tea started because I do have to edit some things for Instagram, and I figured I would do that upstairs while watching One Tree Hill, while drinking my cup of tea. <laughs> I've showed this before, but I just love a good English breakfast black tea with a tiny bit of whole milk, and it's so good. And then to go along with my tea, it would have been perfect to have one of my cookies, but we ate all of them, which is totally fine. So I'm just gonna have half, because they come in two um, little pieces. So I'm just gonna have the Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. We're kind of over these, to be honest. Um, and I'm just trying to eat them up. They're really good, but we got them from Costco, so we have a lot. <laughs> so I'm just trying to eat them when I can. So I'm gonna have this half with my tea and go work upstairs for a bit. It is, what time is it? It's 6.30 and I just finished up a little garden update on my Instagram, so go follow me there because I showed the cutest little baby pepper. Look at that little pepper. Oh my God. Pepper I've ever seen. I water it at nighttime now just because it's like easier for me. It just takes so long that we don't have a freaking hose. So filling up my little watering can like 20 times a day in the morning was just like too much. So I do it at night and I saw my baby pepper. So I did a little update there and then I'm about to make dinner. So tonight we are actually making a new recipe. I got it off of All Recipes. Ugh, you might not be able to see that. I've got it off of All Recipes. This is one of my favorite apps because I love Pinterest for meal ideas, but I also love All Recipes a little bit more because I've learned to like shop my pantry first. And that's something that Jordan Page, um, if you don't know her from like funcheaperfree.com, she talks a lot about that. Like instead of going to Pinterest and seeing this amazing recipe and you have to go buy 15 sauces and da da da, da all these things, um, it's better to like shop your pantry first, see what you have and try to use all of that before you go to the store and then just go to the store for like one or two things. So it's great because in all recipes you can put something in like pasta or sausage or teriyaki sauce or something like that and it like shows you recipes and then you can use what you have in your pantry or fridge or freezer and make dinner that way. So that's what I did and I actually found, so the one that I'm gonna make today is a sausage pasta. This sounds delicious. We, well, Sebastian likes pasta. I love pasta. Um, Sebastian likes sausage a lot, so I figured that was a good little in between and it had a lot of things um, that we had in our pantry already. So I literally didn't have to buy anything for this. So I will leave a link to this recipe down below if you guys would like to try it. We've never tried it before. I'll be sure to share how we like it after and I'll show you like the finished product. But I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's just like uh, tomato sauce and pasta and cheese and whatever. So it'll be good and I'm going to make that now. It doesn't take too long. So I'll get started on that. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to put on a YouTube video and cook and then we'll have some dinner. from the steam but this is dinner all done it's a little bit more like soupy of a sauce rather than like a thicker pasta sauce I guess but I think it should be good um, so we just have the pasta underneath and then tomatoes there's spinach there's garlic and sausage and all that and then we're just gonna top it with the Parmesan cheese and it should be good the sauce is like down there because like I said it's kind of soupy um, but it should be yummy Sebastian doesn't like a ton of sauce anyway so I feel like he'll really like this recipe so I'm gonna top it with some cheese for him and then that is dinner made. It was so easy and so quick. Dinner is done. To be fair, it wasn't my best recipe. It was just a little soupy. Like I like I said, the flavor was really good, um, but we just liked a more thick sauce. So I think if you were gonna make it, maybe like add flour or something. I don't know what would thicken it, but it was just a little too thin. 
But I turned on my camera because we ate that a bit ago. We're watching the game. Go Jazz. Sebastian wants the Lakers to win. And we are about to pop some of these in the oven. So these are delicious. We actually, well, I've had these before at like restaurants, but our friend Gigi, we we went over to her house a couple of weeks ago. And her and her husband made us dinner and they made these. She's from Brazil, so we got these at Costco because she told us to get them. I am, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I said Gigi. Oh. Um, so I don't know if she's gonna watch this specific video, <laughs> but just in case uh, she is, Gigi, these are for you and they are so good. So we're popping a little in the oven now just to snack on while we are watching the game. So I'm very excited, cannot wait. This fashion is stressed. It's nine o'clock and we have one quarter left of the basketball game, but I told Sebastian, I looked at him and said, I cannot <laughs> stay up. I'm so tired. We started um, getting up early again. So today was our first day. So I got up at 5.45 and I'm planning on doing that again tomorrow. So I'm just really tired. I don't know how you're not tired. You got up at 4.45. 4.30. 4.30. And he didn't even have an alarm. He just woke up. It's silly. I thought that I would close out the vlog, but also show one last thing that I drink before I go to bed. And this is a fairly new thing for me and Sebastian, but um, we've been trying it. I've always heard great things about this. And so yeah, we're giving it a try. And this is the Natural Vitality Calm Supplement. So it's a magnesium supplement and it's in the flavor raspberry lemon and it's disgusting. It's not bad. Sebastian, it's honestly, it's not bad, but for some reason it just like kind of makes me gag. So <laughs> it's definitely not a drink you like sip on, like I chug it down. Um, but it's good, it's supposed to help, yeah, like with your magnesium level so you sleep better and we've been trying it out and hopefully um, we'll see an improvement. I don't really need any help falling asleep but I've just heard great things about this um, from a lot of YouTubers that I follow. Ow, <laughs> stuck in my earring. So yeah, I'm going to pour myself a glass of that and wash my face, brush my teeth, do the whole thing and get to bed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and seeing what I eat in a day. Let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments down below and give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you in the next video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.